Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about suture materials. Now suture materials is a vast topic, but we need to remember the important points. So I have summarized some important points here. I have taken this information from the various from the various guidelines and from textbooks. And I will try to summarize it easily for you. Okay. So the suture materials can be divided broadly into three categories. Number one is delayed absorbable suture. So the absorbable suture means they are going to absorb with the time. Okay, they are not going to stay there. So that's why it is absorbable. Delayed means they are not very rapidly absorbable. They will at least stay for at least two months there. Okay, till for the two months till the you know till the healing process can be completed so the suture material will provide support for the tissues to get healed at least two months so that's why it is delayed absorbable now rapidly absorbable suture for example when we go for episiotomy we don't need too much time to heal i mean the, the episiotomy wound heals very very quickly so we don't need to use delayed absorbable suture there so for that we got rapidly absorbable suture so they just do their work in a week or two and then they go away and the third thing is non absorbable suture they are not absorbed at all they will stay forever in your body right now the names right now the names of the suture materials are difficult to remember because the company name which company makes the suture can be different and their chemical name is different we used to remember chemical names a lot before in our school time but now it is difficult to remember isn't it but i must say it is must it, you must remember the chemical names instead of just the brand names for example the first suture here is a polyglycolic acid Everybody knows it's a Dexon. Dexon, everybody knows, but its name is polyglycolic acid. So when, whenever, you know, in the international books or international journals, they only and only give these names and they, give, they do not give the brand names in most of the time. So it's very important for you to remember these names. Okay. Now, let's start with the absorbable suture, delayed ones. The first comes is a cat gut. Everybody knows cat gut is a suture material which is made from gut of the cat. It's not a very good suture material, but it was, you know, one of the very important sutures some years ago when the newer synthetic sutures were not available. So cat gut is important. 80 days it is tensile. I mean, 80 days they stay tensile, uh, what we call it, it's there. Uh, time to get absorbed, okay? Now the other, I mean the other one is polyglycolic acid. So polyglycolic acid, also called dexone, and ninety to one twenty days, it is an absorb absorption days. That means it get absorbed into up to ninety to one twenty days. Name dexone and the chemical name polyglycolic acid now dexone is a brand name it can be anything okay but the basic thing you need to read is polyglycolic acid the third thing is polyglectin the polyglectin is everyone's favorite that is vicryl the vicryl is a brand name but the chemical name is polyglectin and the absorbent absorption days are 60 to 90s in that case so the vicryl can stay up to 60 to 90 days now the third suture in the same category is polydiaxenone popularly known as pds and it get absorbed into 180 to 210 days approximately six to seven months so it's a very very long lasting suture okay polydiaxenone pds another suture is called polyglia capron so it's difficult to remember but you know just if you separate the poly here and this phrase here you can sometimes remember polyglia capron it's also called monocryl and it get absorbed into 90 to 120 days 
Now another suture, the big name, polytrimethylene carbonate, also called mexone. I mean, similar to dexone, but it's mexone here. Now you can remember from here, methylene and M, M for M, polymethylene carbonate, mexone. And it's, again, it's a very long lasting suture, 180 to 210 days it can last. Right. Now, then comes the another category that is absorbable and rapid as well. So we got only one suture, thankfully, in this category, that is polyglactic 910. I mean, it's 910. Polyglactic 910. Polyglactin is vicryl and polyglactic 910 is vicryl rapid. And it's very rapid. So it does its work in 7 to 14 days. That means 1 to 2 weeks and just get absorbed. It's very, very rapidly absorbed. The other non-absorbable sutures, there are also plenty of examples in that. Silk, nylon, all of them, you know, are kind of simple suture in terms of manufacturing. But there are these three different other suture, synthetic sutures, which are also under the category of non-absorbable suture. The commonest and the popular one is proline. The chemical name is polypropylene. So it's easy to remember polypropylene and proline. Other comes is a marceline tap. We use, you know, most of the time we use it. Okay, is you know, in fixing during the surgeries, we fix some structures. For example, we try to fix, you know, a, a lot of things. For example, sacrocolpoplasty. I mean, it's a sacrocolpopexy. We do a lot of other things in hernia repair mesh, marceline tapes, vaginal tapes. So the marceline is also, the chemical is polyester. So is again, is a non-absorbable suture. The important third one is called Gore-Tex and the name is big polytetrafluoroethylene, polytetrafluoroethylene. That is the Gore-Tex, that is again, non-absorbable suture. So I'm apologizing for you if I spell some names wrong because it's they are very difficult to remember. It's, uh, again, we have to remember, isn't it? Right. Now these are the names. I have mentioned some of the days in which they absorb. But let's go into the details. I try to make it a little bit, you know, divided so so you can remember better because when you go for when you go for the discussion with one of the, you know, your colleague, when you go for the discussion in the Viva, when you go for discussion, when you're doing presentation, this thing's going to be important for you. If you do, you know, if you tell these things, for example, which is the least, which is the least tissue reaction, which, which, which suture has a least tissue reaction, so that is proline. So sometimes you know you can make impression on your seniors and your professors. But let's let's start reading here first of all. Sutures can be either monofilament or braided. Monofilament means this is a single filament. Braided means two or three filaments, just braided like this. Now monofilament, the suture material are associated with less infection than braided one. Because the bacteria can go inside those braided sutures, I mean filaments, okay? Now, in terms of wound dehiscence, wound dehiscence or in terms of hernia, incisional hernia followed by the sutures, both of them are similar. I mean, non-absorbable and absorbable, delayed, sorry, delayed absorbable, both of the suture materials have similar kind of similar kind of strength. For example, you cannot say that if you use non-absorbable sutures because they are not going to absorb till your life, it is good. No, it's not like that. If the tissues have to heal, they can heal in, you know, a month or two. And that's why the hernia and the wound dehiscence are equal in non-absorbable suture and absorbable suture. So this is another info important information for you. Now, Absorbable days, absorption days, sorry. The absorption days I have divided 
into some categories and then you can remember better. So everybody knows vicral rapid is one to two weeks, seven to 14 days. Okay, vicral rapid. And what's the name? Polyglactic 910. The another one, cat gut, sweet cat gut, it's 80 days. Everyone's favorite vicryl again, vicryl polyglactin, and it is 60 to 90 days. So you can also remember two to three months for vicryl. Now the other category is of 90 to 120 days, that is three months to four months. And it, it you know, it belongs to sutures, dexon. And what's the chemical name? Polyglycolic acid. And the other one is monocryl. And the chemical name is polyglycapron. Anyway, difficult name, but polyglycapron for monocryl. The low, I mean, the longest one, you know, the, which the sutures which last longest one in, in terms of absorbable sutures, they are two PDS and Megzone, 180 to 210 days, that means six to seven months. That is PDS and Megzone. So I think you can remember by the weeks and months. For example, I mean, cat gut, you can remember 80 days. Sweet cat gut, 80 days. That's fine. Micro rapid, one to two weeks, you can remember. Now, two, two to three months, you got, again, Vicryl, the simple one, polyglactin. Three to four months, you got Dexone and Monocryl. And six to seven months, you got PDS and Megzone. Okay. Now, you can remember about this thing. I hope you remember all these things because it's very difficult to remember. I know it. But you have to devise and revise. Either you can just you know write down on a paper and stick on your wall so you can remember every day. Right. Now, the, another important point is the tensile strength. Now, we used to you know measure the strength, tensile strength in days in some of the, some of the literature. But good part of it is it is no longer you know required so you either have to either have to say it is good or it is poor it is low it is great just just like that you know it's a very subjective point of view now so tensile strength the poor tensile strength is because of the poor sweet cat gut okay it's very very poor tensile strength that means the suture, you know, really, I mean, the suture cannot, cannot hold the strength longer. Okay, so the poor cat gut cannot hold the strength longer. That's fine. Now, the greatest tensile strength is with PDS. Polydiaxenone. The PDS has a greatest tensile strength. That means the PDS suture keeps its strength for a long time definitely stronger okay and the pds was here 180 to 210 days again is the maximum long lasting suture along with the maxon but again if i say maximum greatest tensile strength is pds then comes the high tensile strength so high tensile strength most of the known absorbable suture comes in the high tensile strength. Nylon, polyester, that is marceline, polytetrafluoroethylene, that is vortex. All of them comes under high tensile strength. Surgical silk has low tensile strength, although it's a non absorbable suture. But again, you know, it's a, it's a dilemma that for the surgical silk, it is. It is a non-absorbable suture, that means it's going to stay there forever, but the tensile strength is low. The rest of the other suture material comes in a good tensile strength. Right? So you can remember one or two, and by remembering by remembering all these things, you can remember the other ones. So the poor ones are cat gut. The greatest one is PDS. High ones includes most of the non-absorbable sutures apart from surgical silk because surgical silk has got low tensile strength now okay tissue reaction again very subjective description so tissue reaction is highest in surgical silk 
So we can see that the surgical silk is not being good here because it is, you know, it's kind of lots of negative in surgical skill. Number one is got high tensile, sorry, high tissue reaction. It got low tensile strength, low tensile strength, and again it's a non-absorbable suture. The good part of surgical silk, I would say, is an excellent handling. The handling of the suture material is good or nice with surgical silk. However, the handling of the suture is excellent with, is with the Gore-Tex. Okay? Poor handling is with proline and nylon. So the, what was the proline doing? Proline has some good points and some bad points. The proline has a poor handling, but again, proline is proline is a good, you know, kind of high tensile strength. Okay. And the least tissue reaction. This is a good point of proline. Proline proline got least tissue reaction. Okay. So in terms of tissue reaction, we can say that the highest one is with surgical silk. The least one is with proline. Moderate is for cat gut and low is for the rest of the dam, or rest of the sutures. Okay, right. Now braided sutures are Dexone and Vicryl, Marceline and Silk. Marceline, Silk, Dexone, Vicryl. You can call it DVSM. Right. So this is all about the suture materials. You have to remember this suture material with your you know, some kind of remembering techniques because it's the only way to remember all these suture materials and it's very very important to remember them because it creates when you go for any kind of viva or any kind of surgical viva or table viva the suture material knowledge will give you, you know, an extra hand from the rest of the other candidates. So this is all about suture materials. Thank you guys.